you like this video, make sure to visit our Vimeo page and follow us to get the latest update. Yeah, so SAP uh, is like a, uh, you know, extract transformation load and today's part is like extracting the data from different, different sources, like flat file, Excel, well. Uh, so this is our topic, but uh, before that, I will start with our, you know, BODS basics, all the components and all. And if time permits, then I'll show you how to do the extraction and all. Okay. Sure, sure. Yeah, this See, is to be, very frank, to be very frank, BODMS bots, right? I mean, you can go very high level because that is fine. Yeah. So, I mean, uh, if you want to do hands on, then I'll show, I'll give you the, I mean, uh, basic things. I mean, uh, you know, sure. some detailings. But if you just want, uh, I mean, you don't want to do that much hands on, you just want to overview, then that, that is fine. We can cover as, as, as fast as possible. Sure. For now, let's do. Let's not plan for hands-on on BODS. Just give me an overview of what it is, and so that okay. when you are talking about this, I have some background. Okay, fine. So today, let's keep today as a basic part, and then from tomorrow, uh, uh, I'll I will cover all all the things fast. I mean, speed up the process, right? At yeah. least uh, understand what all the components and all. Without Correct. that, you cannot uh, learn BODS. So yeah. Sure, sure. Yeah. So this is disclaimer. This is agenda. So, uh, I hope you got the access for BODS. No, not yet. I don't know. That's what I have to ask Irfan about it. Yeah, go ahead. Um, So, Chetan, you're trying to turn, open something because I see your uh, desktop. Yeah. So, yeah. So, if you if you click on, you know, SAP Data Services Designer, you will see this pop up. Okay. So, you need to select the system or server name. So, here we have like BW HANA DP colon 6400. Username is HANA and password. I mean, in, uh, when you, you know, download this. Uh, uh, remote Microsoft remote desktop, you have this uh, uh, file, passwords file. So using this, uh, you know, uh, password, uh, username, password, you can uh, log into uh, SAP BODS. So in your project as well, you must have some. Uh, in your project also, you must have this, uh, you know, screen and uh, these username, pre password credentials. So once you right. enter this, authentication is enterprise only. Once you log in. Uh, so this is optional part repository password. So, you know, so this user, uh, uh, the, you know, uh, admin part, uh, admin people must have uh, given access to so many repositories. So repository means working area. So one user have uh, one repository or multiple repository as well. And you can, you can use the password also, you know, to keep the privacy. So here, same password is there. I'm just entering the same. So uh, first component of uh, BODS or, uh, you know, uh, data services is uh, repository. So what is repository? It's a working area. So once you do that, uh, if you if you are creating new user, these all things, uh, you know, in this 
this is local object type library so whatever the components you create you will find it here object library this is project area mm -hmm. whatever the things you are you know creating you will get here so this uh, you know repository is not new it is old maybe they are using the same repository um, you know zara and tech people are using the same repository for different different projects so that's why you will find this one so let's understand what is the local object library first start with the project so the topmost part of our you know uh, bods is the project so you know whenever you are starting with anything we'll create one project so how to do that <clears throat> here is we have option new or you can just you know click on the project and new new project so let's start with your name only uh monish training now it is created so you'll find out here because you are now as of now you are entered to this project that's why in this project area aapko aapka folder dikhega project it is uh, can namely uh, you can say that it's a folder because it's a you know an icon is also like the folder so it's uh, work like the folder so agar aap kisi aur project ko bhi select karte ho ami new dikha raha hai dekh if you double click on this one you will get this one so ami new mein jitne jitne cheeze hai wo sare aapko idhar dikh jayegi okay i see okay yeah so let's select your project only monish training so right now nothing is there so it is blank okay so let us understand what is job the next option here in local object library is job so what is job we have to kind of a job bad job and real time job let's understand what is job so you know when you do the coding you have to you know create one file uh, if you are using java then you have to you know you are you will create some text file you will do the some coding and you will save this file with you know dot java so test dot java or my first program dot java or uh, if you are using python then you, you you used to you know save with dot py part right so that is the executable file when you execute that job whatever the programming you did it will like, you know, all code be, will get run so here in bods we, we don't call it as a program we call it as a job because you know in bods is a completely user interface if you see this everything is graphically uh, you know configured so all part like whatever the logic you will perform in the back end it will generate the sql only so it is sql only so base of this any etl tool of base is sql only but when you know sql have some challenges that it is complicated the, you know is very complicated you cannot if you should see 1000 line of a code it's complicated it is very hard to do you know performance tuning and all that's why you know um, you know um, requirement of etl tool in market uh, has uh, you know grown up and many tools came into the picture so with the same business objects created this uh, you know bods and later point of time sap owned it so two time type of a job we have when is bad job bad job is nothing but normal job like if you want to do anything you can just create simply bad job real time job is something like a, a real time processing so bad job is like when you execute the job then whatever the status is of your legacy table if it have 1000 record it will exact, extract 1000 record provided that you don't have a put, you know, any filter you if you are not using any kind of filter but real time job is something different it is it works like a real time job but it is not required and it is not even used in any kind of a projects not in data warehousing and not very rare i mean very rare they so, use real time isn't. Chetan, uh, sorry to interrupt. I think uh, what we can do, we can skip this topic because I don't think I will be using it. Um, if if at all I need it, we, can we cover this later? Because this Money, is completely. Uh, one one your your training is you have enrolled for SAP ETL training, right? So uh -huh. if you are not learning this part, then I mean, uh, I mean why? Or I mean, because so Jarantech people showed me some you know topics. If you go into this LMS as well, do you have LMS access? Which one? Is LMS access? This one? No, I I don't have any access. That's what I need to talk to them. You know. No, take the access because uh, or anyways, leave it. But can you tell me like uh, if these guys uh, you know share shared the topics as well with you? 
did you did you get a chance to look into it course no, content no i mean no no i don't know where is the course content here nahi aapko unhone whatsapp pe ya email pe bheja nahi tha kya so this is our course content this 22 topics and this is all related with sap etl only if i don't tell you what is this jobs and all then you will not understand anything of um, you know what theek hai chal theek hai chal okay go ahead so i mean no 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 you are paying some to these guys right you are paying to us so i am just making sure that what exactly your requirement is if you don't want this one see, then see you uh, know no. see i'll tell you what normally in sap projects what we normally do is mm. <coughs> see i my role is more a project manager program manager role correct, okay correct. so i mean i may not be doing anything hands on i'll be managing the project but i i need to know just to, as a, at a very architect level what how this is all work. for example mm. so in, i mean i'll give you i'll take one minute to explain you what what we do yeah, so sure. basically you have like non scp to sap um data migration we have to do so let's say sap to sap right so we have a file extract that will be given that extract we 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 get it we yesterday what you are showing right we'll get the file then you create one placeholder yeah. file and then you do the cleansing and yes, yes. Uh, you know do all the deep deduplication and everything and then you move the file to uh, the like to the uh, what do you call the current what uh, destination uh, client right yes. so that's that what you're talking about was made sense to me completely those kind of things mm-hmm. you know it could be sap to sap non sap to sap like yes. that so bods i don't know whether we have really where this come into play i don't know really because so, we, we have not yeah yeah so what i was telling yesterday that uh, you know i was showing that slide right yesterday or let me show it for you so this material okay so jo yesterday i was showing right that jo middleware hai you know where we do the extraction we'll create the job and you no know, that is sap bods that is sap etl that we we have to learn right without that how can i show you how that's to that's fine chetan chalne do it's okay do right you, i mean you, yeah. you go ahead i just don't want that after you know doing three four sessions you said that okay, you, you should feel that okay ये तो मेरे काम का नहीं था सो बेटर वे वी कैन यू नो वी कैन ऑर्गेनाइज योर कोर्स कंटेंट प्रॉपरली सो दैट यू विल गेट हंड्रेड परसेंट ऑफ इट व्हाट यू रियली वांट यू रियली डोंट वांट एस एपी बीओडीएस देन आई मीन देन वी नीड टू रियली टॉक विद जेरेंटेक पीपल दैट ओके योर रिक्वायरमेंट इज समथिंग डिफरेंट ओवरव्यू तो फिर थ्री फोर सेशंस में भी आप कर दूंगा मैं आई इट इट वांट टेक मच टाइम एज़ वेल डेटा माइग्रेशन If you really want only data migration, then five six session may be हो जाएगा वो. नहीं नहीं वैसा नहीं मेरे को कैसा है ना कि see after that I I want to go into specific some of the things which I would like to know. That's what I told that will make it a little bit more customized. But BODS uh, मतलब मैं क्या बोल रहा हूँ कि इसको high level रख के आगे बढ़ते हैं बोल रहा हूँ मैं that's all. Okay fine then let me just go let let let's just go. utilize this time as of now. You can discuss this offline then. Okay so. We have created the project. Now we'll create the batch job. Just this jo project area. You may just right-click. Karo. We'll create one job. Okay. So we name it uh, Monish Beni. Yes. So these these are the some you know testing purpose. You have we have we are you know giving the naming convention. But in any kind of a project, not in not just about SAP project, but any kind of a project, you have to give give some meaningful uh, you know uh, naming conventions. so maybe uh, if you are working for india then maybe india underscore job one under material master underscore job one or extraction underscore one like that so i am just using this one yeah so so job is something like executable program for us let's in layman terms you can say so what are the different components of jobs what what else we can do so kisi bhi program mein in 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 uh, data data services uh you know if you have only one logic to one logic to build we can just use this one this is the data flow so data flow me kya rahega only the components on which you want to do the uh, want to do the you know 
जिस पे आपको काम करना है लेट्स लेट्स टेक एग्जांपल डेटा फ्लो एक्सट्रैक्शन वन तो ये डेटा फ्लो क्या है ये एग्जीक्यूटेबल प्रोग्राम है मतलब एग्जीक्यूटेबल प्रोग्राम के अंदर एग्जैक्टली क्या आपको करना है वॉट एग्जैक्टली रियली वॉन्ट टू डू ये कॉम्पोनेंट डेटा फ्लो में रहेगा इसमें अगर डेटा फ्लो में डबल क्लिक करोगे आप पूरा अभी अभी के लिए इट इज कम्प्लीटली ब्लैंक नाउ वॉट इज इटीएल दैट एक्सट्रेक्शन ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन एंड लोड सो थ्री कॉम्पोनेंट यू हैव टू गिव इन डेटा फ्लो सो वॉट इज एक्सट्रेक्शन वेयर फ्रॉम विच वेयर यू वॉन्ट टू डू द एक्सट्रेक्शन Let's go to data store. Yesterday I was telling about data stores, right? Correct. So uh -huh. these are the connections. If you see DS S four Hana, DS Hana, DS. So these are so many system. के जितने भी systems हमको चाहिए उतने के सारे system के data stores we have. नीचे option रहेगा data store का. So let's take SAP. Let's take any any table from SAP. See there are so many tables. Okay. Let's take this LFA one. Or, okay, we have Mara. So let's take. यहाँ पे सिर्फ ये Mara table है. Table का symbol है. We just need to do the drag and drop. Okay. So our extraction part or extraction component is here now. Now, अगर आपको ज़्यादा high level चाहिए, ज़्यादा transformation सीखना नहीं है. So only the you know um, this is the transformation. अगर कुछ ज्यादा लॉजिक्स लगाने सो वी हैव एन नंबर ऑफ ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन बट एज ऑफ नो वी विल लर्न ओनली क्वेरी ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन मैं कल और परसों में बाकी के ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन बता दूंगा सो ओके सो दिस इज क्वेरी ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन वॉट What is the uh, query transform? It is the middleware of extraction component and load component. So query मिल गया आपने को. Now we'll create one temp table. Temp table means target table. जो temporary table है, जो execution time पे create होएगा. I'll just give you one example. Uh, one uh, uh, extraction. So a question है मेरे को. So Chetan, आप ये जो बन बना रहे हो, right? Uh, so you are building a structure, correct? Is it a uh, correct word? term common is it a correct yes. term i am using yes 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 in layman terms you can say that i am creating some structure okay so it is just like uh, you know when i execute the program then you understand that what exactly we are doing as of now yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. with me so yahan pe fir again ye table hai this is extraction mara i am creating this table which holds whatever the records mara have right so we'll just create one uh, we'll just select A data store which connect with SQL, any SQL thing. Let's see which thing we can use. The SQL we can use, I think. Okay. Now we just need to connect this dot. We have extraction. We have transformation logic which we can put in this query transformation, and this is the target table, I mean staging area which I was yesterday telling, right? कि हम सारा डम कर देंगे एक एसवेल के टेबल में एंड देन वील यूज दिस टेबल फॉर फर्दर फर्दर प्रोसेस ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन वी हैव एन नंबर ऑफ फील्ड इन मारा ओके वी हैव हंड्रेड ऑफ फील्ड हंड्रेड ऑफ डेटा समटाइम्स यू यू डोंट वॉन्ट अननेसेसरी थिंग्स यू जस्ट वॉन्ट यू जस्ट वॉन्ट टू माइग्रेट सम्स फील्ड यू आर इंटरेस्टेड इन Just select these fields and just drag and drop it here. So right side, me, left side, me, बहुत सारा field रहेगा left uh, left side में but right side में आपको जो चाहिए target table में so fields you want really want in target area or fields which you are really want to work you will find it here. So जो unselected रहेगा वो just it will show in bar only and जो selected रहेगा it will create a blue tick blue 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 triangle. Okay. I see. I see. so let's understand this field structure so field structure is like this is the name of the field this is the data type and this is the mapping mapping means like what exactly source se kahan se aa raha hai data and description is also getting copied this description is sap standard description but kya kiya tha maine sara you know select kiya tha and drag and drop kar deta so whatever we have in legacy see the copy ho gaya if you want to change this description you can change it just double click on this field you can change the data type you can change the length you can change the description as well okay 
Yeah, okay. I'm just reversing. So uh, I hope you know what is primary key and those kind of concepts, right? Or shall I explain? Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead and explain, please. Yeah. So primary key is something which you don't want to get duplicate. So in Mara table, or in Mara table, Mara is a uh, you know basic data of uh, Material Master. Material Master, yeah. That's right. Material, material Master. So material number is unique. It should be unique. Material number uh, change. मतलब एक ही material number के दो record नहीं होने चाहिए, right? So that's, why, that's why we create a primary key. So in SAP also, it is a primary key. If you see, key का एक symbol दिख रहा है यहाँ पे लेके सी में. ये matter जो है material number, उसपे key का symbol दिख रहा है. That we have copied it because it's a primary key, and we don't want duplicate record. मतलब अगर एक coffee beans करके material रहेगा तो उसका एक ही record रहना चाहिए. You will not get two different different records. Okay, so it will make sure this primary key concept make sure that you will not get duplicate. That's it. So here, in query transformation, if you see, this is the mapping part, and we have these six to seven options. So I'll give just select. In go to select and select distinct rows. So what it will do like, अगर हमारे पास पांच ये छः record ये कितने record है one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven. So we have selected twelve fields. So this distinct row option, what exactly it will do? It will check that okay, this twelve it will check the data for twelve fields and it will make sure that you will not get duplicate. अगर कोई duplicate रहेगा, तो this will remove that duplicate record automatically. That's why we use distinct row option. If you have selected one table only, this won't work. It is not required because it's a SAP standard table and it's already. Us me duplicate nahi rehta. But maybe I was telling about some non SAP system or I was telling yesterday about you know Excel sheet. You have to select this option to make sure that you will get all the distinct rows. You will not get any duplicate. Mm -hmm. There is one from clause. So we have in the input we have only one table. Mara that's why it is showing one table. If you select multiple tables, it will. What uh, if you are if you are using five tables, it will show the list of five tables, and this part is a condition. I mean, join the tabling. Tabling. You, you do you have any knowledge on uh, joining part? How we join the table in SQL? Uh, first, me tell me like, uh, do you have any basic understanding of SQL? No, no, no. I'm I'm purely functional. Yeah, purely. I don't have. Yeah, okay. yeah. Then, but, then, but see, joining the tables, joining the tables, and all. As part of the project and all, I mean, I understand people. I mean, talking about, but hands-on, I have done it. No, I have not done hands-on. But at least you know, <coughs> as part, of, see, see, when when we when we do the mapping and all, right, direct mapping, then we will write some business rules. In that business rule, you write the, you know, you write this, uh, you come across this joining the tables and all these things. So right. I'm familiar with that kind of thing. Uh, but totally hands on no, not not hands on ah uh, no but that is fine if you don't have hands on that is fine but if you know if i'm using this joining table left outer join or you know left join or right join i'm i am expecting that you you at least you know this concepts at least what exactly left join work or what exactly inner join work so if you don't have idea I, i will explain no problem yeah yeah go ahead go ahead explain please okay, okay. so not today but when i am using any you know multiple tables in is uh, you know in sure. source then i'll explain otherwise you will get confused like why i'm you know sure sure so this is the joining if you want to do joining part you can use this from clause in query transformation next see, is see, Chetan, i'm sorry to interrupt but but i i just mentioned to you my my background right and what i'll be doing in the project yeah. so um, so my role is more a pm role so okay. i may not get into hands on doing much but keep it high level and whatever i should know as a as a data migration consultant or something yeah, just yeah. keep telling me that's all okay so what i'll do because this is a recorded session yeah. so so let's say if i am if i have to go through i may not be able to digest everything in this session but at least i can open it and go through this one more time your recording session yeah sure sure yeah so this where condition i mean where where means filter so if i was telling yesterday that you can put the filter right so you can put the filter here so this is lvorm field let's use this one lvorm is just a um, deletion flag in sap you know deletion right uh, mark for deletion yeah yeah so you just want is lvorm is actually why my space space bar is not working 
it's not working my there is some issue with my space bar yesterday also i was using another uh, uh, another laptop there also this space bar was not working that's why i use new laptop today here also space bar is not working I'm not sure what is the issue <laughs> okay <laughs> okay so you just you just understand that okay lvrm is null so this condition you have used that's why if suppose lvrm mein agar you know mark for deletion rahega x flag rahega to wo filter ho jayenge it is as simple as that you can use this mere condition okay i'll just not go in high, uh, this group by order by this clauses because it it is not as of now it is not required and it is high level so you just don't need it so basically you just need you need to understand that these are the legacy fields these are the target field you you just want you just uh, you know selected those field which you are interested and that's it just go back this structure is already created click on the job okay in your job you have just only one data flow yahan pe you know you have uh, two options validate current and validate all just click on validate all it will show if you have any you know do did any mistakes or anything right now i don't created any mistake no error found close karo let's save it it is saved now do execute this job so we have a option execute or you can use you can you can press f8 from your laptop or simply click on right click on this job and do the ex execute you can debug as well but i am not going in high level that how to debug and all just execute it don't need to select anything it is standard sap standard you don't need to anything just click okay okay this screen will come and it will showing some it will it is throwing error what exactly throwing is odbc call okay it is showing that this sql driver connect there is some issue login failed that means ka this is not correct okay uh did you get under, I mean, did you understand what i'm trying to say yeah yeah you were trying to execute that and and it's throwing some errors so basically yeah. there are seven or eight errors so you are we are just evaluating troubleshooting what the errors are exactly so i think this, if you see that ye bods ka problem hai ki ye ek hi error bar bar dikhata hai if you try to read that all errors are like same only <laughs> if you see So on this base, this these all are the same. So what exactly it is doing? Database BW HANA DP, which we have used. Usme we are trying to load the data, but usme fail ho gaya hai. What exactly it is failed that हमने जो user ने password डाला होगा, वो correct नहीं है. That's why it is failing. So that is administrative okay. error. It is not a logical error or our extraction error. This is administrative error. ये error हमको इनको दिखाना पड़ेगा. If you see, if you click on apply, यहाँ पे सारा डाल के रखा है यूजर नेम पासवर्ड सारा डाल के रखा है. If you click on apply, it will throw an error. It will ODBC error. ODBC error means जो हमने अभी जो हमने we are trying to connect with this data database, right? SQL database with user name. Uh -huh. This user name and password is either uh, expired or password change होगा or something like that. So we cannot use this one. Mm -hmm. uh, let's take another. तो ये सारा बेसिस का काम है दिस इज नॉट एक्सपेक्टेड टू डू फ्रॉम योर साइड एज ऑफ नो वी नीड टू फाइंड आउट समथिंग राइट दैट्स आई एम जस्ट ट्राइंग टू बी विद मी आई एम जस्ट फाइंडिंग आउट करेक्ट डेटा स्टोर फॉर अस हां ये है करेक्ट व्हाट इज दिस एसक्यूएल 12 ओके को हम डिलीट कर देंगे दिस एरर विल टेक अनदर टेम्पलेट टेस्टिंग 1 2 3 एंड नाउ आई विल सेलेक्ट दिस डेटा स्टोर एसक्यूएल 12 बिकॉज़ इट्स क्रेडेंशियल्स आर करेक्ट ओनली वेयर इट
graphic is not showing here. Okay. I think it got stuck. <clears throat> In field, same error, right? SQL driver connect not able to connect with SQL. Give me a minute. I'm just checking here. Uh, just give me a minute. Taste data store. Thing is working. Everywhere uh, they are used, they have used their used wrong passwords only.
Chetan, if you are having problem, that's okay. That's okay. You can just. So basically, you, you created this structure. You want to extract, and you're getting some error, right? Yeah. So I need to troubleshoot with these guys, but I'm trying to, you know, I just wanted to, you know, try it from my side. I'm not uh, doing anything, but there is no point of, you know, again coming tomorrow and explaining the same thing. And troubleshoot because uh, support team. Uh, who is from support team today? Uh, am I audible? Irfan or maybe somebody else? Am I audible? Can we get support? I can, I can hear you. I don't know about. No, no, it's that tech team. Support team, you are on the call. I don't think they are. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, what we can do here, we'll use the text file. But text file also I tried yesterday, it be work because uh, table is not working. <laughs> what? But how well I will show you. Give me one minute. I'm just trying this alternative. If it is not working, then maybe we need to continue it tomorrow then. Or I will take your question and answer. I mean, whatever the questions you have. You can yeah, take. we can do one thing. You can, if you want to figure out the offline with the support team, that's fine. I have a couple of questions. Yeah. yeah. When you're ready, let me know. Yeah, I'm, uh, I can, can parallelly answer it. Yes, go ahead, please. So basically, in bots so what you're using is a bots tool yes you are trying to create a structure from the scratch yes you're trying to create a structure from the scratch and then using this tool and the structure which you, you have created you're trying to extract a file that's what i've understood based on what you shown right. is correct. that correct understand correct. correct yes okay so so let's let's assume if this file is, if the structure is working fine and there are no errors, yes. then you, you will, can you show me, can you show me how an extracted file, successfully extracted file look like and where it will sit? Yes. So I'll explain you one more thing. What exactly did SQL was not working. SQL table were not working. So what I did is like, I have selected the text file. Okay. This is the text file. If you see this option in at the, you know, local object library, yeah. So we have jobs, we have workflows. Workflows is like, you know, if you if you want to use multiple uh, data data flows, you will use uh, workflows. Uh, and inside workflows, we can use the data flows. Data flows, jo um, structure banana re. Workflows, it works like a folder. So four five data okay. stores, so ek folder dal do. Fir ek folder dal do. Ye hamara systematic case ke liye. Workflow aisa kuch kam mein nahi aata hai. Then we have used multiple transformations. The transformation I clearly told you that now query transformation pe do because 90% we use query transformation only. It's very customizable and very, very much needed. Uske baad aata hai data store, jo hum connection banate hai uske liye. Uske baad aata hai ye format. So isme kitne saare options hai? File format, jisko hum flat file bolte hai, BODS terms mein. HDFS file, nested schemas, nested schemas means XML. Cobol file or Excel. So we mostly flat file or Excel. So the file location jo option is me up uh, AWS or Azure ka file location we can use. That also is not required. Flat file or SL uh, So this flat file kaise create karte hai, tomorrow I'll tell you because I time nahi hai. but I have text file create kiya aur usko as a target use kiya. Okay. And I just went on this job level and I have just executed that. Let me execute again for one more time for you. This is saying, oh, okay, this is very smart. If I'm doing any kind of a change, it will show you that, okay, you, have, you did some changes in the data flow one, uh, data flow extraction. One. Do you want to save or not? If I don't do it, the change will be executed before the change. Now, the change will be executed before the change. The change will not be saved and the change will not be executed. So, always make sure that you are saving the work, your work, and then only you are executing. So, I'm just clicking on yes. Okay. And just exit. Let's say okay. 
so this is the stress you'll slowly slowly you know and uh, read it and you'll slowly slowly understand what exactly it is written so it will show that job is initiated with the system now processing the job optimizing the job something 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 and now data flow is executed successfully uske baad job is job our job is executed successfully if you are using five data flows to usko bolega data flow one is successfully second executed successfully third executed successfully fourth executed successfully and at the last it will show job executed successfully so okay. now we don't have any errors so this tab last step error tab is you no know, disabled agar mai mai agar pehle wala dikha tha aapko if you see this one ye yahan pe red color ka flag aaya hua tha because it is failed but this job is not failed this is complete successfully this tab is disabled. okay and the second tab okay. the middle tab is monitor so monitor what exactly it is it will show how many rows we have extracted If you see our query transformation and our target, how many twenty two thousand six eighty records we have executed, we have extracted. So, this means SAP. Me, we have used Mara table, right? This one from SAP. So, SAP must have twenty two thousand six eighty. Let's see. If you really have it, so here we have a chasme ka option. Sorry, a magnifying ka option. Dikh raha hai, right? Here. Yeah, yeah. Just click on it. now it is showing how many records it's so it, it will show how many records are there just click on the second option profile tab or third option second option and record pe click karo if you click on this record option it will it will just analyze it on the source level and it will show how many records this table has it will take some time yeah if you see 22680 records is there and we are also we have also pulled all 22600 because we have not used any any filter we na, we, we have we have just removed it everything now this file i have placed it in this desktop itself i'm just going to desktop this test 1 2 3 i'll just try to open it open it not that see all 22000 records are there which are comma separated so this is material number first this is header okay for for your systematic means i'll just paste it in excel format or i'll just open it in excel here on the okay, let's have excel mm, i don't think we have excel इन्होंने एक्सेल डाला नहीं है शायद इसमें है So I have opened this file in uh, Excel, in Excel format. If you see now, okay, yeah, that's the one. इतने field हमने select किए थे Matner to BISM, right? And now it is showing the data in proper format. So we have successfully do the extraction now, and it will looks like this. तो अगर ये एक्सेल में अगर मैं उसको टेक्स्ट फॉर्मेट में सेलेक्ट करता तो ये जो लीडिंग जीरोस दिख रहे थे हमको वो नहीं है तो मैंने टेक्स्ट फॉर्मेट नहीं सेलेक्ट किया इसलिए लीडिंग जीरोस हट गए बट आवर फाइल इज हैविंग अगर ये टेक्स्ट फाइल अगर आप ओपन करोगे वेरी स्लो वेरी स्लो डूइंग द सेम आई एम जस्ट क्लिकिंग वन एक्शन एंड दिस happening four to five times okay 
let's open a notepad format only okay so you got it right i mean we got all kind of a data i got it i got it the header and these are the records so by is there jo bhi records hai hamare see i think what you have shown i mean our our data folks they they may have used a different uh, etl object etl load program then then the bots that's the only difference but i'm familiar with seeing these files after it successfully loaded yes. and all that yes so yeah so this is the first job we have executed so let's go to the basics at least you understand that what is the process that's why i was telling ki just be with me i'll just show you so so this was, this was useful yeah so this is the first job you have created and you got it like how extraction process will work so as of now we have just used this query transformation but we haven't put any logic here right in this transformation we haven't used any kind of options here so we have n number of options here available we can do so many things here okay but let's you know uh, cover it by in tomorrow's session but uh, if you really don't want to get into you know higher level you just want overview that is also fine uh i'll just quickly you know fa- finish it in 5 minutes tomorrow in starting in start itself and we'll uh, try to find out how many other uh, transformation we can use so what i will do if you don't want to in get to go to in technicalities mai sare transformation bata dunga ki this transformation is used for this one this transformation is used for this one this one so you'll get at least idea idea so you can just keep it a keep a note see mera kya hai what i'm saying this is fine in today's class was very useful Mm-hmm. even though it was a little technical for me but it was useful because at least i understood how you build a structure when the file how you are extracting it after extraction if you have errors what errors you see yeah. if you are su- successful how the file looks like so that is good that was that's a good ev- overview i've seen you know that's perfectly fine um so now so what you have covered today is structure and extraction of a file correct yes so now this extraction of the file so yesterday yesterday you are showing me right ek non scp ka le lo ya text file le lo wo text file ko tum data structures kya bole aapne kaun sa structure bole aap wo bana dena data flow data flow on <laughs> data stores ha data data flow. stores so ye extraction a data stores kahan pe aata hai extraction in that in that picture which you have shown yesterday so oh, data store which i was telling yesterday right in excel sheet mein i was telling ki it is a just a connection it is connection we are establishing in between sap bods and sap ecc or uh, or sap bods with sql this is just a connection nothing else this is so my question is hmm. chetan my question is when you extracted the file from where did you pick it up So I picked it from desktop itself. We got the file. Yeah, no, but in, have... in reality, in, in on a live project, mm-hmm. will this file be sitting in one of the data? What do you call that? Um, no, that file will be that file will be put it on any any uh, any server. The server will be there. Oh, server will be there. The server will have the IP address and uh, user ID password. It will be used. What did we do here? What did we do here? हमने एस एपी का टेबल यूज किया सीधा तो एस एपी का सर्वर को ऑटोमेटिकली हमने कनेक्ट किया था डेटा स्टोर से और वो डेटा स्टोर के अंडर ये टेबल हमने पुल किया इफ यू सी दिस डेटा स्टोर एस एपी अंडर स्टोर डी एस एल शो यू दैट आइडिया डीडुप्लीकेशन when the file is ready then you extract the file correct 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 so this is this i'll give you more uh, I'll, 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 i'll i'll explain this one what is sap ds ds under sap ek data store humne kaam kiya what is it it is its name is ds under sap its type is sap application and sap has it is a server based tool so uska server mein yahan pe rahega user id and password right so this is this connection we have created and we are just clicking apply and okay agar iske andar aap jaoge 
तो वी हाउ मेनी ऑप्शन वी कैन सी एस एपी डी एस एस एपी उसमें फंक्शन रहेगा एल आर की रहेगा आईडॉक रहेगा ओडीपी ऑब्जेक्ट रहेगा टेबल रहेगा पर गेट अबाउट वॉट एक्जैक्टली जस्ट ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड दीज आर दी कस्टमाइजिंग ऑब्जेक्ट एस एपी प्रोवाइडर्स एज ऑफ नो वी आर इंटरेस्टेड इन टेबल सो वी हैव डायरेक्टली यूज मारा टेबल एज इज वी हैव नॉट यूज एनी थिंग तो मारा इज एज अ सोर्स एंड टारगेट में हमने टेक्स्ट फाइल रखा है तो हम हमने जितना भी मारा का डेटा है वो टेक्स्ट फाइल फाइल फॉर्मेट में पुल किया है ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन पार्ट इसके अंदर हम रखेंगे तो ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन का एक मैं फ्लेवर दे सकता हूँ आपको की मेरा वो स्पेस बार का इश्यू नहीं चल रहा है मैं उनको पूछूंगा वाई इट इज स्पेस बार इज नॉट वर्किंग बट यहाँ पे वर्क कर रहा है मे बी उनका सिस्टम का ही इशू है ओके तो दिस इज हाउ अवर फर्स्ट प्रोग्राम लुक्स लाइक दिस इज हाउ अ प्लेन एक्सट्रेक्शन विद इट अगर ये वेयर कंडीशन में हमने कुछ वेयर कंडीशन डाला होता हम ये बाईस हजार रिकॉर्ड को दस हजार में कन्वर्ट कर सकते थे राइट डेट यू अंडरस्टूड वेयर कंडीशन फिल्टर कंडीशन तो ये हम लॉजिक्स रखेंगे उसको हम ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन बोलेंगे तो ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन पार्ट विल एंड ये मैंने बोला था कि अगर हमको टेक्स्ट फाइल और एक्सेल शीट यूज करनी है वी डोंट नीड डेटा स्टोर राइट तो यहाँ हमने हमने टेक्स्ट फाइल के लिए डेटा स्टोर यूज ही नहीं किया था We have directly created the file. We have created the location, and how I have created, I will explain you tomorrow. So as of now, just and that okay, I have created this file, file, and I have put a desktop dal ke rakha tha. Agar main ispe double click karunga, to you will get the idea. If you see, location is local. Local mein kahan pe directory kahan pe use kiya hai? Desktop pe kiya hai. What is the file name? Test one two three. A delete file kya rehta hai? When I execute this job. प्रीवियस वाला फाइल वो डिलीट कर देगा और टेक्स्ट वन टू थ्री नाम से फिर से क्रिएट कर देगा आई हैव एग्जीक्यूटेड टू टाइम्स दिस जॉब राइट तो पहले बार टेस्ट वन टू थ्री क्रिएट हुआ सेकंड टाइम मैंने एग्जीक्यूट किया तो पुराना वाला फाइल टेस्ट वन टू थ्री उसने डिलीट कर दिया और नया वाला टेस्ट वन टू थ्री क्रिएट किया उसने तो दिस ऑप्शन डिलीट फाइल यस काम हो जाने के बाद वो डिलीट हो जाएगा ऑटोमेटिकली I see, I see. So now you can ask me any questions. Now, whatever we have learned, is it fine? Is my speed is no, fine? no, this is uh, no, no. This is good. I mean, again, as I said, this is something I was meaning to un understand. Hmm. Initially, I, I was little this thing, but now I think overall, when after you went through going, so basically tomorrow we are going to cover a little bit more on transformation, how to write a business rule, yes, and um, you know, join tables and all that stuff, right? tomorrow i'll cover that part so that you will get some idea the transformation how it work hum data cleansing kaise karte hai so i mean mai kal rules bata dunga ki how to do that if you want to learn so, that chetan ek yeah chetan mere ko ek question hai sirf abhi ah yeah you can if you don't mind ek chhota sa excel mein mere ko ek ye batayenge ki kal aap jo bata rahe the dekhiye wo sheet 2 mein um एक एक टारगेट है देन उसके बाद सोर्स है बीच में आपने डेटा स्टोर्स बनाया था ये एक्सट्रैक्शन कहा था थोड़ा ये बताएंगे आप एक्सट्रैक्शन एंड ट्रांसमिशन कहाँ पे आता उसमें वो एक सेकंड Uh, can I take this uh, answer question answer session tomorrow? Huh? Uh, because of it, it is get slowed down my system. Okay, okay. Kal batao mere ko. So, so kal kal na we'll start with this architectural yeah, diagram. Me, where does this extraction fit in? Kal aap bata rahe the na wo. Usme kal mere ko batao please. Okay. Yes, sure, sure. Okay. Okay, yeah. Let's connect tomorrow then. Sure. Thank you, Kit Chetan.
Thank you for attending the session. I hope you all enjoyed it. Don't forget to visit our Vimeo page and follow for more upcoming videos.